Hi, Paul here. I wanted to share a very interesting idea with you with regards to how you interact with others. When I coach people, I see this phenomenon going on all the time where people feel like that they are responsible for the other person's reactions. And what happens is that you adapt and flex and even distort where you are because you want the other person to react a certain way. Let's say that your friend or your partner has a problem with anger. And you know that if you say certain things, that they're going to respond with anger. Let's say that you have someone who is uh, prone to, say, for example, depression. And if you don't say just the right things, then you're going to be responsible for their depression. How many options do people have as they respond to you? Think about this. And you can t put it with yourself as well. They could be angry at what you said, right? They could be sad. They could be bored. They could be happy. They could be joyful. You could be in a rage, and they could be smiling at you and laughing at you. There are almost an infinite number of responses that a person can respond with when you communicate with them, when you have some interaction with them. The response that they make is their choice. It's not about you. Now, it's true that you may be a stimulus of some sort, but they can respond any way that they want, regardless of what you say. That's their gig. That's what they do. That's what their responsibility is. And yet, most people I know, what they try to do is anticipate and they think about endlessly what's going to happen if they say this or if they say that and how the person is going to respond. And basically what they start to do is, is they start to try and control things by speaking and acting in a certain way because they want to control the response of the other person. Holding on to that control is a very, very tiring and very devastating type situation. Because whenever you try to control another person or what, they want to, what you want them to say or do, it becomes very, very difficult. And it creates a lot of problems because of the expectations that are set up there. And what if they don't act or respond the way that you think that they should or the way that you want them to or the way that you feel like that your control should uh, evoke in them? That's the problem. The best way to live with regards to your relationships is to allow others to react the way that they do and allow them to be independent. First of all, you have to teach them that they have choices as to how they react and then that they are responsible for those choices. So you have a little conversation and say, hey, look, this is the way I want to work in the future. I want to be able to speak what I speak that's authentic to me, that's genuine with me, and how I am. And I'm going to turn over the responsibility of how you respond to me and turn that over to you. In other words, I'm going to stop trying to manipulate or to control how you react, what you say, what you do. And you have this conversation with them, and you have this agreement between adults or adults and, and children and you say what you do with what I say what you do with what shows up in your life is your responsibility you can be happy you can be sad you can be depressed you can be any one of those things but I'm giving you the responsibility and I'm giving you the opportunity to create the kind of world the kind of life the kind of response to life that you want and you can practice and try things with me to see what the reaction is, what the response is, how things work, depending on how you respond to whatever the stimuli are that's in your world. It's so wonderful when you have this conversation with people and you have this agreement with them that you let them be responsible, you let them, let them be the adult, let them be 
the creator of their life. And when you do, it creates a much healthier situation to get a lot of the uh, dependencies that we create and a lot of the manipulations and controls that we have in life make them go away. So here's my idea for today, and I hope it helps you as it's helped many people. Thanks for listening.